Leave nothing that you hear and only half of what you see. Thumbs up for a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'm gonna repeat that for you guys. Believe nothing that you hear and half of what you see. And um, this is a quote that my dad used to say to me. Um, I don't know where he got it from, but it's an excellent quote. Um, believe nothing that you hear and believe half of what you see. And um, ultimately, what that means is we get a lot of information from many different sources throughout our lives, throughout each and every day. So one would be very foolish to believe that all of it was true. There's no way that all of the information that we get from many different sources, from the media, from our families, from work, from everywhere, it's, it would be foolish to assume that all of this was true. We know people can be, can be dishonest. We know people are liars. Um, we know every last one of us has lied before. And if you say that I've never lied in my life, you lying right now because when you was two, you was lying. And really, when you were grown adult, as a man, as a woman, you're a liar also. We, we've all lied, we've all been there. Um, let's keep it real. So um, since we know that people lie, you can't believe everything that you hear. Even me right now, if you just believe everything that I'm saying to be objectively true, you wouldn't be taking the advice that I'm giving right now. Believe nothing that you hear, which is to never make the assumption that the information you are receiving is automatically true information. That's really what that, what that means, ultimately, that you should always be doubtful of any information you receive, regardless of the source. And yes, I am talking about people that you know lying to you as well. And let me just throw a little hypothetical at you. Um, some might bring up, some might say, oh, well, I should be doubtful of everything that I hear. Uh, what if my little girl or my son um, comes up to me and tells me that someone's messing with him or someone is abusing him or someone is someone's doing something to her? You're telling me that I shouldn't just believe that? Yes, I'm telling you, you should not just believe any any piece of information that you receive from any source. You can't just automatically assume something is true. You need to verify as much as humanly possible to its authenticity. You gotta fact check everything and everybody. You have to, um, you have to ensure that you're not being misled. And I know, I know some of y'all might be, uh, might not, have uh have the i'm not trying to be insulting but you might not have the the manhood in you to be accepting of harsh realities but the harsh reality is your mama has lied to you before your children have lied to you before your boss has lied to you before your your, your grandma that would only just bake cookies and was always nice she's lied to you too Everyone has lied to you at some point about something. And um, we like to be cute um, in this society and say, oh, well, that was just a white lie. I just told him about the tooth fairy just so he'd feel better uh, about losing all his teeth. Um, people lie. People give out false information all the time. People that you know, my mom has lied and I have a great mother. Everyone has lied. I've lied. We've all lied. So let's not play with this. They love me. They would never do this. Dude, they would never lie to me. Everybody has lied. We all lie, okay? Um, with that being said, I would definitely encourage you to be honest, um, 
to be as honest as possible, I would definitely encourage that. Um, but the harsh reality is people lie. And um, it's not that you should be dubious um, or just really, really doubtful of the information that you hear um, simply because the individual may be lying, that's not only the that's not the only reason. The other reason is people sometimes spread false information, uh, false information unknowingly, meaning that they unknowingly tell you something that they believe is true. They thought it was true. They they didn't know that they were giving you false information when they if gave it to you. Someone gets offended because you don't just automatically believe them when they tell you something. That is a major red flag. Forget about trust. Forget about the whole concept of trust. If someone tells you something and you don't just automatically go with what they're saying to you, um, this shows um, a sign of, first of all, they probably already see you as a person that's not much of a critical thinker. So they already have in their mind oh i could i could tell this person anything and they're just going to go along with it um and people will use their uh relation to you against you they will say i'm your son why don't you believe me i'm your mom why don't you believe me tell them you don't even 100 percent trust yourself so why would you 100 percent trust another person because that really is the wisest way to be because Sometimes we can't 100% trust ourselves in any given situation because we're human at the end of the day. We're, we're all human. Um, we don't know what we will do in every given circumstance. We would hope we would do certain things, but we've never been in those circumstances to know 100% would we actually do what we would hope to do, what we, what we would say we would do. Would we actually be that? Would we actually do that? So um, don't trust anyone or believe anyone 100% um, because you will be led down the wrong path time and time and time again if you're one of those people, which many people are this way. Many people are not critical thinkers, just to be honest. Many people they hear something and they automatically just believe it. They just instantly believe what they're hearing. And um, typically this is the case when someone that you know is telling you something to your face. Um, when it comes to the media, um, people can, can be more doubtful of that. Um, but when it comes from one of your friends telling you something, when it comes to one of your relatives telling you something, you automatically go with it. And I'm telling you, you can't be that way and stay in good and stay in good situations you can't be that way and stay drama free is what i'm trying to say um because you will get caught up in drama you will get misled if you are the type of person that automatically just believes information that you're being given and it doesn't matter the source does not matter the source at all that will be used against you if you take the source into account and um i'm not saying that uh that a person that you know has a history of being trustworthy i'm not saying that their word is um just as valuable as a total stranger i'm not saying that of the source you should have a healthy level of doubt regardless even if from past times as i've said they've been trustworthy doesn't matter you need to always have some level of doubt um, just because people can be mistaken, as I've said. So it's not always that they're trying to, to manipulate you. They're trying to deceive you. Um, they could have received false information from a third party and that third party could have came to them with that false information. They believed it and now they are bringing that information to you thinking that it's true, in reality, it's false information. So scenarios like that happen all the time. So it's not necessarily that they're trying to be evil towards you or trying to, um, trying to uh, manipulate you into something that would be detrimental to you on purpose. It's not that they're trying to do that all the time. 
It could just be that they're simply mistaken. We're all humans at the end of the day. Um, so ultimately, it's about going through life with wisdom. And that is one of the wisest quotes I've ever heard from my father. Um, trust me. <laughs>